Hey, what's up? Um, I just, uh, this word came to my mind. Remember when Jesus said, uh, whatever you hear in the inner room, declare on the housetops. So, uh, there was this dream that I had that I wanted to share with anybody who might be listening. Um, I truly believe that it was from the Lord. And I'll just tell you, uh, so... I was in this uh, theater. It was a theater and there were, the theater was packed. There were these women standing up in the front row, facing the crowd. They all had this, uh, they all had a cup and they were told to, basically they were uh, trying to sell it to people. Like, it was almost like, it reminded me of, like, they were doing some kind of, like, commercial and trying to convince people that this cup was good. But um, when they drank the cup, it makes you sick. And even kill, it can kill you. So, in the dream, I perceived that the cup that they were offering was dangerous. And these women were basically forced... It's like they were prostitutes. They were being forced by this person I couldn't see, these people that I couldn't see, they were being forced to do this. And they had to take a drink of it. They had to like drink it and show people that it was safe. But it was actually dangerous. So I remember one of the girls, they couldn't drink it with like a straight face without like going like, uh, like throwing up or something. And if you did that in this dream as like the consequence was being tortured, you were tortured. Like I literally saw these girls being dragged into these rooms, these small rooms, and they were being killed and tortured if they didn't listen. So in the dream, like at that moment, there was this moment where I saw, and this is the part that kind of stirred me up. I saw people in hell I think and they were it, well, I think I know I mean they were squished together and they were like gnawing on each other I mean they were so close like it was almost like I mean it's very morbid to say this but this is what it remind me of like pickled people <laughs> I mean they were crushed together and it was like they were in so much torment like they're I mean, so much unspeakable torment. I mean, they couldn't speak. They were just gnawing on each other. They were so close to each other and it was just crushed down. Like, And um, before I go on with the dream, it's actually, I'm about to finish, but it, there was a scripture in Psalm 75. It says um, in verse eight, for in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup and the wine is red, it is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. So in this dream, you have these late women that are standing up in the front row, standing up facing the crowd, selling this drink and telling people that it's not dangerous, that it will help them. But in reality, what it's going to do, it's going to kill you. And the people that were standing up, the women that were standing up, they were told that if they don't promote this and convince people, they would suffer. And I also saw one woman, she wanted to help one of the girls that were going to get tortured because she couldn't swallow the drink. But when she, want, when she went to help that girl, the, one of the prostitutes that had pity on another prostitute, she was punished as well. So, the last thing was, I could sense that there was this curtain and these things were, were being orchestrated by a mind. Like there was a mind behind this evil. And um, I knew that at any moment, the walls would come down and people would... Uh, they'd realize that they were being deceived.
So that was my dream. Um, what else do I want to say? Like, I know that uh, there's a lot of anger and frustration going around right now. Thankfully, God has showed me how to shield myself and I can, I'll give you some advice. Whatever you take in, that's what you're gonna be filled with. So if you're always taking in garbage, if you're always taking in the media, if you're always taking in whatever, anything, it really, like uh, anything uh, that is not good, you know? Like, for instance, when you turn on like some person that, like a, a, the news, uh, and you get bombarded with all the terrible news around the world, and you start to think only about those terrible things, that's because Jesus said, the eye is the lamp of the body. Whatever you take in, that's what you're going to be filled with. Um, if your whole body, if your eyes are taking in light, your whole body will be full of light. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, think I'm making this video unnecessarily longer than it had to be but I wanted to tell you that and I know this is might throw some people but um I have no reason to lie to you uh far actually uh, I have every reason not to lie to you uh the pure in heart they will see God my dad survived kidney failure. He survived surgeries. He survived um, uh, transplants. He survived COVID. But when he took the J&J &J vaccine, he got a blood clot in his leg two days later and then two days after that, so four days after he took the J&J &J vaccine, he died. I'm saying this not because I want attention. Actually, I'd rather be left alone, honestly. But the Lord said, if you see the ax coming and you don't warn the people, their blood will be on your hands. Guys, uh, I hope that the Spirit is leading you. And I hope that you'll uh, consider, if, even if you sh are doubting, like, consider that I have nothing to sell to you. I don't want anything from you. I, uh, on the contrary, I'd rather give something to you. However, I don't have much to give. I have the gospel and that I freely give to you and that truth it will save your life Jesus is the ark Jesus is the lamb of God that the children of Israel were delivered from the um, from the spirit of death because they had the blood and I'm telling you go to him go to God God wants to have a relationship with you. He doesn't necessarily want you to go off to church. I'm just being real. He doesn't necessarily want you to go out and to, to, to preach. First, he's calling you to himself. He wants to have a relationship with you. So, God bless you in Jesus' name.